Welcome back, let's talk about how to make a custom cursor. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new logic node to the scene because we're going to apply this, well, to the scene, not to a specific object. Now we have this, we need to go ahead and bring up the logic node editor, select the node we just created and grab a render to the node. And this is going to happen, uh, well, every time we uh, the render update happens. So we're going to draw an image. The image is going to be our cursor. So we need an image or two for our cursor. So I have two images, one normal and one when it's clicked. I'm going to create a new bundled folder, which is the folder Armory needs to have all its assets in so it can read them and add them to your game. Now you can reference the image that we want being mouse.png, make sure you add the extension as in PNG or JPEG or whatever file format you're using. Add a height and width so we give some uh, pixels, some, some uh, length and some height to the image and plug in a cursor location so it follows the cursor. And as you can see we have something pretty cool happening here but we already have a mouse attached. We can already see our mouse so we need to go ahead and remove it. Get an uninitialized node and plug it into a cursor state. The state we're going to use is hide instead of locked and this essentially allows us to have our custom cursor work properly, that's exactly what I want. Let's bring this a step further, we're going to go ahead and add a click cursor, so we're going to change it. We're going to grab a branch node and move that out of the way. When we click, so we get our mouse node and we can plug the boolean, as in the state, into the branch. And this is going to give us a true or false, so if our mouse is clicking and that's true, it's going to do something, and if it's not clicking, then we're not going to do something, and instead we're going to set the mouse to be the normal image or the hand image when it's clicking. So once we have that referenced in, we can go ahead and play this, and as you can see, it's actually reversed, it's the hand that happens normally and the cursor unnormally, so we can just remove these and swap them around, and now we have a custom image cursor and everything's cool. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial and that is the result of how to create a custom cursor